Hey, what is up guys? MKBHD here. All right, so there is something that got cut from my Samsung Galaxy Fold unboxing video, the last video from the other day. Um, but you've probably already seen it by now all over mostly Twitter. It all sort of unfolded, huh, unfolded at the same time. Um, several Galaxy Folds all broke in the hands of reviewers all around the same time for separate but very related reasons. Um, mine was one of them. So this is the Galaxy Fold Breaks explained. So three days ago when I shot that unboxing, I noticed what appeared to be a screen protector on the Galaxy Fold. And you guys already know this, anytime there's a film on the screen out the box, whether I'm on camera or not, I take the plastic off. If it's an Apple phone, a Samsung phone, whatever, I take off the pre-installed screen protector. You guys have seen this before. So on this phone, there was what looked like this thin lip all the way around the inside screen, just like your typical pre-installed screen protector. In fact, just for a visual, since Galaxy S10 sort of had a similar experience also from Samsung, this is a brand new Galaxy S10, fresh out the box, and it has this pre-installed plastic that basically looks exactly the same. It has a lip basically all the way around and it's got a cutout around the hole punch display. Similar look, I would immediately take that off. So when I saw the same lip on the Galaxy Fold, I was like, all right, let me add that to the unboxing video. I'll remove that and I'll just take it off. So I pointed a camera at it and I started peeling from that bottom where it's easiest to take a fingernail under the screen protector. So I start peeling it up and within a couple seconds, you start to realize like it's a little, it's more well glued than a normal screen protector. Um, and then by the time I get to an area the size of like a dime in like five seconds, the whole screen just goes black. And then like this little area, there's like a stripe and then the top left corner starts flickering. Uh, that's definitely not good. I'm like, I really just broke it? Like I feel like such an idiot and I, I kind of regret that I didn't get to keep that footage because it's on camera literally as I'm peeling it, the screen goes black. Um, yeah, that was clearly not just a regular screen protector. So I emailed Samsung. They seemed totally understanding of it, uh, which is interesting, but then they replaced the phone. So this is my replacement Galaxy Fold that I'm definitely not trying to peel the screen protector off of. So I set the new phone up, it's all good. Been using it since. Um, but then sure enough, yesterday, I see a tweet from Dieter from The Verge. Um, my Galaxy Fold screen broke after just a day. And this whole article explaining it. And I'm like, whoa, really? And then I see, sure enough, on my timeline, like all next to each other in a row within minutes are other reviewers with the Galaxy Fold saying, hey, my screen broke too. Oh yeah, my screen broke too, mine too. All next to each other. So I'm reading this all thinking, oh, I didn't realize that I wasn't the only one, but now we have all the information about the couple Galaxy Folds that had problems. So of the four Galaxy Folds that broke in the last two days, uh, these are the reasons why they broke. So the first one, Dieters. He never messed with the film on the display, but it did start to develop this bulge for some unknown reason, like something got under the film somehow, and that bulge eventually, a day later, killed the screen, giving it these stuck pixels. Then number two, Steve Kovach. He also didn't mess with the film, but I look at the photos that he sent before he's sending the phone back to Samsung, and it doesn't look fully intact, so it might have taken some damage somehow, but either way, it clearly did not survive and it looks like half the display is going completely insane. Then number three, Mark Germans. He actually tweeted, the phone comes with this layer that he thought was a protective film. He peeled the entire thing off, so it must have survived that peeling, but that did pretty quickly cause the death of the screen, which slowly over the next 12 hours went from half black to two thirds black to completely busted. And then mine, I got a few seconds into peeling off what I thought was that screen protector, and then very decisively, that is exactly what broke the screen. So that's two of different types of breaks the way I see it. The first two from actually peeling at the film, and the other two from just damaging the screen or the film somehow through regular use, which it's those second two that are much more concerning. But just as far as the film goes, like that's, that's gonna happen. People, PSA. If you are one of the few thousand people, however many pre-ordered the Galaxy Fold, do not remove that protective film. It might as well be basically part of the screen. Matter of fact, Dez from T-Mobile tweeted this photo uh, that started making the rounds, which is clearly a warning where it says on the plastic of the fold, it says the main screen includes a special protective layer, peeling that protective layer or using any adhesives on the main screen, such as a screen protector or stickers may cause damage. I mean, it should say will definitely cause a lot of damage and may possibly break the whole thing, but 
Anyway, the only problem with this warning is it must be a T-Mobile or carrier-related late edition because this text is not on the packaging of any of the review units. I went around asking other people who'd unboxed a Fold if they'd had any sort of warning in their box. You can go back and look at my unboxing video. There's definitely no text on that film. You can also watch Lou's video. He did an unboxing. There's no text on that film. Uh, Joanna also confirmed she didn't have any. Mark, Soldier Knows Best, didn't have any either. This is actually my Galaxy Fold wrapper. Uh, no text at all on mine, which means sometime between them giving these review units and them arriving in carrier stores, someone must have realized that they should probably put a warning somewhere. And I think now they're realizing that warning should probably be even bigger because nobody really reads that fine print. But here's the thing, even if I never tried to peel it off, a film with a lip like this is eventually gonna start to collect a little bit of dust and may even start to peel. Matter of fact, Joanna's, as she's tweeted a photo of, has already started to. This is her Galaxy Fold that she's somehow managed to resist the urge to peel. But the scariest part is even if you don't mess with that film at all, there is still a potential for it to get damaged somehow through regular use. So Samsung, seeing all this in the last like 48 hours, put out a statement. We don't really learn much from it, but they did anyway. They said, we received a few reports regarding the main display on the samples provided. We will thoroughly inspect those units in person to determine the cause of the matter. That's definitely for the ones that weren't obviously because of the peeling of the film. But then separately, a few reviewers reported having removed the top layer of the display causing damage to the screen the main display on the Galaxy Fold features a top protective layer, which is part of the display structure designed to protect the screen from unintentional scratches. Removing the protective layer or adding adhesive to the main display may cause damage. So we will ensure this information is clearly delivered to our customers. So essentially that's it. A folding phone requires a plastic display instead of glass. And that soft plastic is the culprit here. Like I'm gonna guess like scratches at a level three with deeper grooves at a level four, if you know what I'm saying. But this is brutal as far as PR goes, not just for Samsung, but for folding phones in general, like even I am now way more skeptical about Huawei Mate X, which I thought looked incredible, but now I'm kind of concerned about that folding display being on the outside. How is that gonna hold up in the hands of normal people? So it is pretty sad that it's, it's gonna take a ding out of how people think about these phones. Now to be super clear, I was never really going to go out and recommend people buy the $2,000 Galaxy Fold. I, I don't think most people would, but there is still always lots of room to be optimistic. Like if you're a fan of tech, you root for this stuff. Like you want to see things, these crazy new ideas actually succeed and gain traction so that we can see a second generation and a third generation and then it can actually improve. One of the more common comments I've seen actually is people saying Samsung, they should have waited and worked on this more until it was done and ready instead of rushing to try to be the first foldable phone. But the reality is Samsung's been working on this for a long time. They've said eight years of development, so you can only imagine how crazy this was before in prototype form. So this is the point that they got to where they felt like, all right, it is ready. But failures happen in all kinds of ways and all kinds of scales with all sorts of tech products. I mean, everything from butterfly keys to wireless chargers to exploding phones and everything in between. It's just brutal when it happens to a product that you're really excited about. Though. It, I guess you don't have to say this is a failure yet because as far as I know, they're not delaying this at all. They're still gonna ship. Galaxy Fold in this first generation very much feels like this like public beta test as we learn so much from it. But that's our job as reviewers is to give this feedback. And when it's in the public hands, we're gonna learn even more things from it. But I think the main takeaway right now is we have foldable phones. This one, it's a delicate phone. The 200,000 folds from a robot don't necessarily translate to a lifetime of use by a human. There's a thing called user error and it's gonna happen. There's moving parts, there's a hinge, there's a no water resistance. Like there's all sorts of new things to consider with a new form factor. And this is definitely a hurdle on the way towards them getting good, like a pretty big hurdle. But that's the thing is I still can't wait to genuinely say like in a future video in some like 2023 video where I can say, hey, folding phones are getting really good. Like that's the thing you root for in tech is for things to get good. And I still think I'm rooting for folding phones to eventually get good. But with where tech's at now, we got some hurdles, but that's pretty much it. That's where we're at. That's all the information about the couple of broken Galaxy Folds that existed in the world in the first couple of days and what it means. But let me know what you guys still think. I'm gonna keep using this phone as my daily driver in the next couple of days for a full review and it's still gonna be a pretty interesting experience, but let me know what you think. Maybe you'd still be interested in a Galaxy Fold. Drop it in the comment section below. Either way, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.